So we're here in the Integra Centre of Excellence, Clochan, of course the Centre of Excellence for Monaghan, and it'll be excellence personified this weekend. We've heard from Drumhow, and now let's hear from Black Hill, of course. They made the jump, they finally got their hands in the Packy Boiling Cup back indeed. I'll have to look up over my shoulder here, would you believe, to look back at 2016 intermediate football then for two years. Made the drop back down, but on the cusp, all going well for them to go back up again. I'm joined by Hugh Bourne, captain of the side. We've also got Aidan McCabe here, manager of the team, and indeed Paddy McBride as well, chairman of the club. Q, I'll turn to yourself first. You are definitely no strangers to junior championship finals, and as I say, finally made the jump back two years ago and back again looking to go once more. Oh, definitely. So um, every team always want to win a championship, and that, that was the main aim in the start of the year, was to try and get back up any means possible. But when you can do it in the championship, it's always that wee bit nicer, so it is. Of course it is. As I noted, up and intermediate, stayed the two years there. Probably unfortunate coming back down. I know maybe injuries and one thing and another played their part, but it shows that time in intermediate is really hard and just that you're immediately back looking to step up again. Uh, yeah, you're right. We, we lost a lot of boys through injury in, in intermediate and even at the start of the year, we didn't have a full strength panel and we've only really got going there in the last two months. And it's great now to have everybody back and it's given Aidan a headache now for Sunday, hopefully to try and pick 15 that can just go onto the field. Of course, <laughs> there'll be boxes of migraine between now and then for that headache, Aidan, I would have thought, but it's a good headache to have, isn't it? Yeah, especially the week of a championship. Yeah. It's where you want to be, so look at it. If I had been given that a couple of months ago, you'll have a headache the week of the championship final, I would have taken it, so... Listen, disappointing, no doubt, maybe the way things would have ended last year and coming down, but you immediately, as, you, as Hugh had noted there, set your stall where you wanted to be, and it's credit to the team, in fairness, and all involved in it, that you are back here. Yeah, look, I, I came in in January, and, and the, the boys were very disappointed about the way they, they came out of intermediate, and, and they really had the bit between their teeth. Um, and, and definitely no hangover. Um, you know, we probably had a couple of injuries, as you said earlier on in the year, just maybe didn't help us out. But, you know, when we weren't always winning, we were learning. So, you know, it, hopefully the <clears throat> lessons we learned earlier in the year just have kind of come right the time of the championship. So. I suppose you are a club and a team that need no introduction as to how competitive things can be in club football and Monon. That length of time, those lost finals to get out of junior, then into intermediate. A lot learned, as you noted there, I suppose, even up on that competitive end of things. Yeah, look, at it. it's funny, but we were probably discussing with Paddy yesterday, it's probably the two most experienced teams, championship-wise anyway, that have made it to the final. So, you know, maybe that, that has count, counted for something. And, you know, we've come through the front door, but there have been three close games in different stages. So that experience has obviously, you know, helped us. It has indeed. Paddy, people will be familiar with the club grounds and the facilities that you have out in Black Hill. Probably a small little club, but my lord, big in heart. Big in heart, big, good committee, good people around Black Hill, team as well, full of heart, the whole team. Couldn't fault anybody around Black Hill, all want to put in the effort, and we're there, and we're, this is all paying off for Sunday, hopefully we come out the right side. Of course, which is the big thing, and, and I know I keep maybe just touching in on, on, on the hard luck story that you did have, and the amount of times I know that I'd spoke to your predecessors here in preparation for championship finals and that, but it showed something deep within the club that you kept coming back until you got that holy grail. Definitely did, they were a great bunch of lads, like, and you, you take the team now, there's probably only three or four out of that team that won in 2016, them lads have put in good 10 years for Black Hill. They, they got the disappointment they won in two, 2016 and now they're back looking again and there's, there's some fight and as Q said, he a big job on. We were playing a match yesterday and he had five or six lads in the line are chomping at the bit to get starting in the first 15 and that's the way it's going to be on Sunday. And It's hard for me, next house is uh, from Highland House, I'm just at the, I'm the last house in Black Hill, so it's a, and Black Hill trainer, he actually works for me, so it's been a tough, it's going to be a tough week and a good week running up to the championship, so it is. Yeah, that could be forgotten, maybe in the middle of it all, just fine battle lines between the two clubs. That's it, yeah, we're all, like a lot of Drumhound people would be drinking in Black Hill and they're all good friends with everybody in, the lads, both teams are all good friends, they went to college together, mm. etc. so it's putting a bit of extra spice to the, the final on Sunday, so it is. Indeed it is. Hugh, we know you as a dual player, I suppose the heart on the sleeve for this weekend, obviously from the footballing end of things as well, and, and I suppose being, being accommodated in that regard. Oh, definitely. Um, I have to thank both managers. They've been very good to me this year and allowed me to go between the two clubs, and it's been very good so far. The hurlers have had to do the double there yesterday, and looking forward to an Ulster club campaign, and hopefully we'll be doing the same with Black Hill. I was just going to say, you're looking forward maybe to a busy, busy few months then on both fronts. 
Well, yeah, you don't mind being busy this time of year because you, you, that means you've been successful and that's what it's all about. Everybody doesn't, nobody goes out at the start of the year to train just to, to keep fit. To, you want to win stuff. That's why everybody plays sport. Nobody, nobody cares who comes second as long as you're on top. That's the most important thing. 2014, these two sides met up in a skein. I suppose there'd be a little linger of a thought maybe of that in the back of the mind, but I suppose Paddy's touching it there as well. It's big changes between the two teams since then. Oh, uh, definitely so. There's big changes in that there, but you, you, you always, you never forget who, who who's beat you, and you mm -hmm. like to try and get try and get one over on a team that's had to get one over on you. So, hopefully, we can return the favour on Sunday. Well, listen, that will where the big one will be asked. League form as well, Aidan, I suppose you've been carrying that through then as well. So you were coming in confident, and rightly so. Yeah, well, just before championship, we'd been beaten five games in a row, but it was all by a score. So um, we actually. Uh, we got a win, a one-point win out in Drumhound before the championship, and um, so that might have just kick-started things. But uh, you know, it's been it's been going it's been going well since that. Look at the league form uh, was up and down before that, but like I said earlier, we're, we're probably learning, if not winning, all the time. So you know, we, we took we could from that. And I'm assuming there was always one A on championship even during the course of that. Yeah, well, they kept telling me mm -hmm. Black Hills a championship team. I, you know, there was nothing wrong with us playing a wee bit better in the league, <laughs> but uh, they weren't lying. You know, the, the boys definitely knuckled down and just they found that extra gear that you always want teams to have come championship time. Indeed. And folks, finally, Paddy, as well, the success of Black Hill and that, that, that win back those two years ago, it's been wonderful to see when you attend blitzes and stuff like that. There's underage teams now coming through at Black Hill as well, and I'm talking the under sevens, the nines, and, and such like that. That's what you want then too, is to be building. That's really what the, the GEA is about. It's about, about playing football and seeing kids out. I think we have 70 underage now, and that goes to credit to the underage committee we have there. Out Saturday mornings, Tuesdays, and a lot of clubs probably see it now with teams coming up and they're starting to play. And next year with two under 11 teams, so it's actually good for the club. And me as chairman, it's great to see that. That's that's what a football is all about: it's seeing people out on the field. Indeed it is. Well, Black Hill will be on the field in Armullen come Sunday. It's already been noted there, very fine lines between the clubs, very fine lines maybe between the families and the supporters as well. Will Drumhowen be drinking on Black Hill on Sunday night? Possibly to help them celebrate.